Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Fire Ant Fishing, and today uh, we're gonna go over my likes and dislikes on the boat. I've been completed with this project for about six months now, maybe a little bit more, and we've used it in all different types of lakes, uh, size-wise. We've taken it up to Lake Lanier even a few times, which it did actually way better than I thought. I would never be nervous about taking this out on Lake Lanier ever again. It's a little slow with the with the trolling motors but uh performance wise it did great so uh definitely not nervous to take it up there anymore i'm not going to go over the entire boat in this video if you guys want to see the reveal video for this project i will link it in the description below let's go ahead and get started first and foremost is like everything underneath this carpet is wood okay i absolutely love this oil-based enamel that i used on here we have had this boat out when it's completely storming outside so much so that uh the bilge pump back here kicked on and it ran for for quite a while none of the wood has warped none of the hatches have changed shape like everything is uh is still really good like the day that i finished this boat so the carpet has worn in a little bit on the ends of these which i expected to happen uh, so I probably didn't need to have such a gap in between the hatch and the actual decking part. One of the other things I'm really glad I installed in this boat are the New Pro Products VT2 systems. We got uh, some of our big fish catches up on there. I'm uh, not on there yet, but I'm glad I could get other people on the fish. The, uh, the motors here, they've been doing great. I wish I had a little bit more power which is uh, something that might be in the future. And for those of you who are wondering, I fish electric only lakes. That's why I have a trolling motor on the front and a trolling motor on the back, and I don't have an outboard motor on here. One of the other things I like having on this boat is the tackle web system. If you guys don't have one of those or haven't checked them out, definitely at least look into them. That one's definitely been a lifesaver for me, just to be able to throw whatever in there real quick and in a hurry and get it out whenever I need it. It's just it's really nice to have this back here for my co-angler this Lawrence mark 4 hdi this came off my 12 foot john boat if any of y'all are familiar with that i think that what's happening this this thing likes to act up a little bit i was reading some comments from you guys that are posting on some of my videos that uh like because up there i have the hummingbird and back here's the Lawrence that there's sometimes an interference and it's probably what's happening. I think this is the weaker unit and uh, it's just getting overpowered by the hummingbird up there. One of the other things I like are these struts, except for these things aren't made to be out in the weather. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of rust going on over here. Uh, one of them is really bad. I don't know why it's worse than the others, but uh, a little bit of surface rust going on on those struts. Go over the things I don't like about this boat. First and foremost is the deck. I like the space that I have on the front deck it's about seven foot long 66 inches wide up top but the compartment somebody told me I, I don't remember who it is but they said keep your compartments simple and this was back when I was building the whole thing and I was like nah man I need more compartments like I gotta have a lot of room I need space to put things I wish I would have kept it simple what happens is is my co-angler keeps his stuff over here so mine when we're fishing have to lay across here on this right side well whenever i need to get into one of these three hatches i gotta move all my rods over make sure that they're not falling off into the water just to be able to get inside these hatches and i know that doesn't sound like a huge deal but it's a huge pain in the butt when you have like five or six or seven rods hanging off the front of this in the middle of the tournament and you need like a certain pack of worms that are in there or whatever you know so i've mostly resorted to putting everything into these two compartments right here this one and then the center one to try to keep a lot of stuff out of there just so i don't have to hassle with moving stuff around so if i was to do this again i would definitely have like probably two hatches here and recess the foot pedal it's not fun standing on that thing all day definitely wish that that was recessed i did not put any type of uh catch lip underneath this frame right here so like i said before when we get into those uh situations where it starts raining and when i'm driving home and it's raining all the water runs off the deck down onto the frame and into all of my baits now even though this is just like some little cheap milk crate and it's got holes all in it this thing holds water like no other because now anytime that this thing gets wet i have to take all this stuff out 
and let it dry so that there's not water just sitting in the bottom of this thing. So uh, a catch slip around here, uh, I can definitely see the benefits of it and Mike Lopez has got that figured out. All right, so here's my two biggest issues with what I did on this boat. Number one was I used too small of hinges on these hatch doors. These are about an inch wide on each side and I riveted them down with like a one inch rivet down into the wood and on this one hatch, they have not stayed there. The rest of them are fine, but this is my problem hatch. The rivets pulled out of the wood and completely broke the hatch door off the deck of the boat. My next huge issue with this thing are the latches. Spend money on your latches. If you want locking latches, get those nice locking latches. I went with the cheap ones that for one, don't even really lock. Two, the screws come out of the back of them all the time. They've come out so much that I've actually lost both of the screws for this one. And uh, so it doesn't really even stay in place. I gotta completely take the latch off, pull the hatch out, and uh, that's how I open this compartment if I need it. So if you're looking for some latches, I do not recommend these. So yeah, this is pretty much that, uh, that hatch door now. It just comes right off. Uh, this, like I said, this is the only one that I've had this issue with, but my main issue with these latches is that the screws back off on the back of it. So hopefully this video helps you guys out a little bit uh, on what to do or what not to do. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. So yeah, thanks for watching.